In this video lecture, we will discuss about file permissions. Unix has a simple and well-defined system of assigning permissions to file. The term permission or access rights indicates what action a user can perform on the file. The action can be to view, change and execute the contents of a file. So this is the output of a typical ls command. So we all know that this hyphen indicates the type of the file is a regular file. Next we have the permissions associated with the different types of user. So we have three types of users that is user or owner, group and others and we have three permissions. So that is read, write and execute. It has to be in this order only. So R denotes the read permission, W denotes the write permission and X denotes the execute permission. And we use this minus for absence of corresponding permission. Now how to change the file permission? Discuss how to change the file permissions. To know default settings of permissions of a file or directory, umask command can be used. When you type the umask command, this is going to be the output. So this basically specifies the mask value. This mask value will be subtracted from the default permissions. Now if you want to print the mask value symbolically then you can use this minus s option now you can see the permission associated with the user as read write execute group as read and execute and others as read and execute suppose if you create a new directory file it will have the default permission as 7 5 what do you mean by this numeric value? 7 it indicates read, write and execute permission because read is associated with the value 4, write is associated with the value 2 and execute is associated with the value 1. So if all values are set, okay, then it will be 7. Similarly, File is for the group, okay, which means read and execute. Read is 4, execute is 1, so 5. Similarly, this is the value for the others. So, for other, the permission will be read and execute. So, in Linux, the default permission value is 666 for a regular file and triple seven for a directory when creating a new file or directory the kernel will take this default value and it will subtract the umask value and give the new file the resulting permission now in the in our case the umask value is the these three digits that is 0 2 2 okay and we are checking the uh, file permission of a directory okay this gives the fi uh, file permission of a present working directory so when it is a directory it is 777 so subtract with this permission so you get 755 which means user will have read write execute group will have read execute and others will have read execute so you must basically it gives the mask value associated with the system and usually the default settings it write protects a file from all users except the owner so as you can see here except the owner the remaining users do not have the write permission now how to change the file permissions okay 
User can change the permission of any file or directory by using this chmod command. Okay, it is termed as change mode. Change mode is used to set the permission of one or more files for all three categories of users. User means the owner, others, and the group. Now, what are the ways in which this cm chmod command be command can be used? First, in a relative manner by specifying the changes to the current permission and in an absolute manner by specifying the final permission. Here you specifically mention what permission you want to change. Here you specify what is the final permission you want. So let us see what do you mean by this relative permission. In this mode of permission, the command that is this command changes the permission specified in the command line and leaves other permissions unchanged. Now how do you specify or how do you use chmod uh, in for uh, relative permissions? So first you have to mention the category with this keywords like user is mentioned as u, group is g and others as o and if you want to set for all then you have to use the option a then the operation you want to assign the permission then plus to remove minus and the permissions are denoted as read is denoted as r w and x now let us take a simple example before changing the permission the permission or the access rights associated with this chap1.txt is it's a regular file so read write and execute permission is not set for group only read permission and for others again it is only the read permission now let us specify the execute permission for the owner okay so you have to specify the type of user first so owner and it is of adding the op adding the permission so it is plus now you can uh, see whether the permission has been given for the owner to execute the file so you can see that uh, execute permission is been acts granted okay only user permission got changed here but others are remain unchanged it did not affect for the other users another example this is the permission associated with this file now we want to give the execute permission for all the users okay because the users do not have the execute permission so mention the user user group and others execute permission must be given so it is plus now you can check the uh, attributes of the file to know whether the permission is been granted so execute permission is granted to all the users some more examples so here we are assigning this execute permission for multiple files so for the owner or for the user execute permission must be granted for this file as well as this file and we want to execute multiple command at the same time as you know this semicolon is used to combine multiple commands so we change the permission along with that we want to list the uh, file attributes in the long format that's the use of this hyphen l now you can see the execute permission is been added for all the user for both the files the mentioned three and four now you want to remove the execute permission for all the user you need not mention like user group and others if you mention a it considers for all the users remove the execute permission and for group and others give the write permission or grant the permission and 
you combine this another command to see the file permission information now you can see the execute permission which was earlier added in this command has been removed now write permission is given for both group and user now what do 